Praise the Lord, everyone, and happy Thursday. I pray that your Thursday is off to a great start. Today, I want to talk to you about what are you giving the children. And as always, let's get started with the prayer. So, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I just pray, God, that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart will be acceptable in your sight, for you are my strength and my redeemer. I bless and I praise you, O Lord. And Lord, I just ask right now, Father God, that we not just hear the word, Lord, but that we be doers of the word, Lord, that we put it into practice, Father God, so that you may get all the praise and glory in Jesus Christ's name. Amen and amen. So, praise the Lord, everyone. I want to talk to you guys from the point of what are we handing these children this next generation uh, or the generation under us should I say are we handing them faith or fear and you know I remember that faith was handed to me as a very um, at a very young age and I'm not talking faith as in going to church I'm talking because and and no slight to that at all because Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So even when they're in, in children, they begin to hear things and they begin to even begin to profess them when they're said out loud and those type of things. But I'm talking about an encounter, an experience with God. And I remember that there was um, a little woman, actually the woman who prophesied over my life and told my mother that this is what I will be doing for the Lord. Amen. But she was preaching and in the midst of her preaching, there was a woman who died in the back of the church on the pulpit. I mean, uh, on the, the, what do you call it? On the pew. And, um, you know, the, the usher in the back, the guys, they called the um, ambulance and everything like that. And the woman continued to preach. And when the ambulance got there and they pronounced the time of death and they proceeded to do what it is that they do, um, she came down off her little stool because she was a very short woman. And she came down and she walked over to where the woman was. And she said, in the name of Jesus, get up. And she waved her hand. And she kind of did it with like an attitude, like, how dare you die? in the house of the Lord, you know, and the woman came up, and I remember I used to play with this kid named Jojo, I hope Jojo can see this video, because I know he will remember that, we were always running in the church, running outside the church, playing around, and not paying attention, but I remember that day, we sat up, we did not speak to each other anymore after that, like, we knew that we knew that we knew that God was real, and, um, I remember even the paramedics, <laughs> they stayed in the church because when you see that type of power, when you see someone's faith into work, like she didn't beg and plead and all of these other things, she said it and it manifests. And we live in a society where these kids need that type of faith and need that type of manifestation because they're playing with Ouija boards and they're using uh, third eyes and they're opening themselves up and using all these demonic entities and they see them manifestations of them quick but what they don't see is someone standing on faith they see people a lot of times um saying the things that the word tells us to stand on but then doing the opposite you know they'll see people taking drinks um to relax their nerves or stressing or smoking cigarettes they need to see us stand on faith so i want to encourage you for those of you who have kids or nieces and nephews or neighbors kids or any kids that you are assigned to impact because sometimes you're not even assigned to impact your own children yes you're supposed to raise them up and train them in the way that they should go but it's going to be someone else who nurtures that child into their destiny their calling and that's where you see spiritual mothers and fathers spiritual mothers and fathers are not always the absentee of a parent sometimes it's absentee of this was just not the assignment for your parents your parents were to give you these basic things and if you think in the terms of um Moses's mother yes yeah, she got to nurse him when she was a he was a child but then he was taken into the palace and raised by someone else so there's different instances of that but the, the main point of it is is that you have to be that level of faith for that child to see that no matter what God can move mountains and they need to see you stand and stand for holiness and stand for righteousness so that they can stand for holiness and righteousness and not only that that they have faith over fear and when they the kids are not blinded, they see what 
you um, are doing as opposed to what you're saying. You know, um, it says practice what you preach. It's the same, right? So they see what you're saying, like, you know, greater is he that is in me, but then you're back to worrying or greater is he that is in me, but then you're smoking cigarettes. What well, greater than that is he that is within me, then um, you're smoking weed. And then, the, you know, all of these things, they see these things. And what they need to see is the power of God. They need to see faith in action. You know, um, no matter what happens, yes, things are going to happen. Things are temporary, but we have to remember that no matter what, we came into this world alone. We came into this world absolutely naked. We didn't have on makeup. We didn't have on wigs. We didn't have lashes. We didn't have our mamas and our daddies coming out with us. They were there already, but they didn't come out with us. So all we have is him. In the beginning, we had him because he spoke to our spirit. He knew us before he put us in our mother womb so that is the only person that we should aim to be so uh so close with so intermingled with that you know we would have nothing no choice but to have a level of faith it's so important to have faith these kids need to see our faith in action and um there's a woman um her name is pastor erica sampson and she says live out loud for live out loud for Christ, live out loud for God, live out loud for him. Let your faith arise in this season because we are living in a generation where kids are like, oh, that's your God or your God is this or your God is that. They need to know our God is sovereign and they need to know that our God is able and capable and will do those things which he promised. So I just want to encourage you to pay attention to what you're putting out if it's faith or is it fear is it effective faith you know is it just the words or is it the words with the action you know so i just want to encourage you guys on that i don't want to hold you guys long but just have that and when you see your children today when you see other children today what are you demonstrating before them so in all things may you be blessed and have a wonderful wonderful thursday